Name a Dylan song that Dylan does better than somebody else. I mean, oh, that's there. True. I mean, he's, that's he's true. he may be the most covered songwriter in the of world, it. and and that's I mean, a good who, point. who, that's who, a who good prefers point. Dylan's version of anything that's a good that Dylan point. wrote? Yeah, that's a damn good point. Beer too. I mean, I'm, okay, 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 I'm too pissed what, to drink okay. her. Okay. We're going to talk about All Along the Watchtower. I love it. What's the, big, what's the origin just, of All Along the Watchtower? I, I love it. It was, it was Dylan's song. It's, I think it's on the, an album. Uh, John Wesley John Harding. John Wesley Harding, obviously. But as a child, I, I did not know, even know that Dylan wrote it. I mean, all I knew, Hendrix had a 45 that I had. You had a remember, 45? Yeah, you remember the flip side of it? No. Burning of the Midnight Lamp. you got to be kidding. I'm serious as shit. Okay. But anyway, so you got introduced to it by Hendrix. just cool as shit, yeah. But, but it's originally a Dylan song. Yeah, absolutely. It, what, what, so what so did you think when you first heard Dylan's version of it? Different song. Entirely different. Yeah. This is not our You know, this is... Uh, Dylan with drums, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's not really notice. electric, so you, you but I mean, that, it's, you made that point, you know, I didn't even realize it didn't have drums, well, I mean, he does, but I mean, I'm just saying that this is, you know, it, it's a meek song, meek version, right, it's a powerful song, but compared to, but it's a meek to, 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 so, to, so then so you then come to the one Henry's, that everybody knows, who fucking adored Dylan, yeah, was just heat up with Dylan, he, I mean, listen to the power, he just establishes right off the bat. This is a, this is going to be yeah. a right. in-your-face song. Right. You know, Dylan is kind of you know preaching, push, you push know him. preaching, and Hendrix and is Dylan like, goes, "This is in your face. I'm going to give you a message here." It's so fabulous. It's you fabulous. know, fantastic. It's fucking. It's just tremendous. There's too much confusion. I can't get no relief. Dylan is not a musician. He's a songwriter. Right. Hendrix is God, both. Is incredible. Hendrix is both. Because he's written, I mean, Hendrix wrote some great tunes. But he's also a fantastic musician. And when you put, when you put, the t you know, his musicianship, Together with the, the fact that he can write a song means he can interpret a song too. Right. And I mean, it's the definitive version. No that question so about cool. it, you know. But you said Dave Mason's helping him with this. Dave Mason played on this record, and Dave Mason does his does a version of this. And of course, the, the top people that, yeah. you know, for the neo, neo, neophytes that don't know Dave Mason, Dave played, Mason played with Traffic. Yeah. He was a guitarist with Wynwood. And yeah, he was originally a roadie with the Spencer Davis group. I did not know that. Yeah, no. but here's a uh, so here's Mason's version, which I really like a lot. I, love that. I do like that. A lot more, a lot more acoustic guitar. Smooth. That one. Cool. I like that. You know, and it's a little. Uh, uh, you know, this is a few years later, and I think he's out in California, and it's got this California sheen to it too. Yeah, that's yeah. Because I can see on the album cover that it's kind of looks like a California sheen. Yeah. So it's just a little kind of not quite as what. Well, that's still. I mean, I think so. I think Mason's trying to make it powerful, uh, make it an aggressive song like Hendrix did. But he's but, but he's in California and he's no Hendrix, so he's. I like that. But I like this version of it. I like that. Because I'm not sure the song is is. I, I'm not sure the song is meant to be, this you know blow your head off with the sound. Deal. I mean, it has it has lyrics. I mean, it's very powerful lyrics. You know. It's really Dylan writes this folk song, okay, with all this imagery. Right. Hendrix kind of, you know, with his 
you know, druggy mistake, kind of really turns it up, yeah. turn, you know, makes right. it loud. Dave Mason kind of does the California version right. of it. And here's Buddy Miles. I love him. Hendrix's later drummer. Vim changes. And he does it. Okay. Well, let's hear Buddy Miles. Okay. And he does, of course, I mean, he, he's he's copying Hendrix so bad. It, does he hum it stinks, you know. Well, who's playing it? How embarrassing. I don't know who's playing guitar on this. But see, this is... This is the soul version of All Along well, the Watchtower. Now, is that just purely... Go back to two more cover versions that, you know, I think we ought to explore. And one is Brewer and Shipley. They, they did All Along the Watchtower the same year that Dylan did it himself. Of... It sounds like the Kings and Trio. No, it seems like... Yeah, but you can hear the lyrics, and the point is, I got that's you. what this song is. That's my 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 think, thinking is that's what this song is about. It's not about feedback and loud guitars and all that. It's a great riff I disagree. by Hendrix. I disagree. But that's not what Dylan wrote it for. I Dylan didn't write it to I make it a hit. Well, that, 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 what I think it personally is that. Uh, the Dylan, the more powerful electric version, is the one that makes it work. So, you know, I'm not, once again, I, I once again, I'm not saying that. I, what I'm saying is, I know his Dylan purpose. didn't write it thinking that Hendrix was going to electrify right. it. Right, but it's only until he electrified it that made it. Which proves my point that Dylan <laughs> can't do his own songs properly. All along the Bob Dylan cannot sing now. I mean, he, he, he you know, do you think? What do you mean now? Well, what, no, don't say that. Don't say that. 